The week is going by way too fast. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Naoya and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. Um, I mean, last week's video I said, you know, I just hit 500 and now I'm almost at a 600 subscribers, which is, again, fucking insane. Um, but with all that said, um, I want to get into today's video, which is all about Rick Owens' new women's collection, uh, Fall Winter 21, Geth hmm? Gethsemane, that's it, that's, I had to look up how to pronounce that, um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts and what I thought about it, this is like, not structured at all, even like, compared to last week's video, um, but I just wanted to kind of come in and share my thoughts and opinions of why I think it's a great collection. To get into it, I just want to uh, explain what the the theme and like the the meaning of the name of the collection, uh, Gethsemane. Gethsemane. I'm just gonna forget the th because I can't say that shit. Anyway, so Gethsemane is a garden at the foot of the Mount Olives in Jerusalem where according to the four gospels of the New Testament, Jesus underwent the agony in the garden and was arrested the night before his crucifixion. It is a place of great resonance in Christianity. There are several small olive groves in church property, all adjacent to each other and identified with biblical uh, Gethsemane. As you can tell from the name of the collection, it is a very allegorical, very biblical, um collection and what i thought was interesting was the way he uh rick owens has been constructing his show is very bare bones as going back to the roots and almost kind of harks back to the idea of those times when um i guess like when the biblical stories took place in uh you know it's very simplistic and it goes um along with what's happening in the pandemic right now uh pandemic where you know not a lot of people can be together and he shows that through uh cuts of clips where you can see behind the scenes of the show um and it makes sense the way he does it um, I've always had gripes with uh, how the fashion houses have been doing their shows and showcasing their collections um, just because now that a typical runway cannot be done but they're still doing it that way through videos and I find it sometimes is quite boring um, I feel like with the medium being a video format they, it gives them so much more room to express things creatively and direct the show in a way that resonates with the theme of the collection and for rick owens he is considerate of what's happening in the situ uh, around the world and that's why he you know created a, a collect well a show that is more simplistic than what he used to do in comparison and that makes sense there's a thought behind it why he did the wrong way but in comparison to his past shows it's simplistic is very bare bones um, there's barely anyone uh, there except for probably the stylist and you know a makeup person who can touch up just in the moment and the models they change clothes multiple times and then goes out on the runway and you can also see it on models they are all wearing Rick Owens masks I think he's probably one of the only designers who considers the, the health and safety of the models which is very commendable and that should be the case for every fashion houses with COVID-19 going on but it isn't and 
the way he did the show makes sense, you know,、um, considering the, the pandemic situation. But other fashion houses and brands, they just do what they would have done if the pandemic wasn't there, but just now with the video format. And I just have a gripe with it. I think you can do so much more interesting things combining. Artistic direction and cinematography. You know, you gotta like treat it almost like a film. And side note, I've watched a different、uh, ways where people showcase their collections. Go watch Gareth Pugh's、um, collection video, it's fucking fantastic. It is very well done. You get to hear his thoughts and the design process and the theme or like the the storytelling behind it, which is really cool. And I really understand why he wasn't really selling his clothes before, but rather than he was creating art, sculptural art, but using clothes as a medium. Anyway, that. But yeah, I just wanted to give that recommendation because it just kind of follows the same idea of、um, collection and how those are being presented. Anyway, so getting into the actual collection of Rick, Rick Owens' Woman's、uh, Fall Winter 21,、um, the cuts into proportions, just chef's kiss.、Um, You know, the first two looks, it has that typical A line,、uh, very exaggerated,、uh, you know, tapers out from the shoulder all the way to the floor, and the coat is dragging on the floor.、Um, you know, I, I think it, the proportion is a traditional, traditionally being used in, more in the women's wear, where the, when you look at a silhouette, You know, it creates a triangle that tapers out towards the bottom, and it's that、um, A line proportion or A line、uh, cut. But then he starts to play around with that proportion, with especially the ones where it has this super exaggerated shoulder,、um, and then it narrows down to the waist and it accentuates the waist line. and The physique of the model, even more、uh, compared to them, let's say, wearing just like a skin tight clothes. That extreme,、um, what's the word? Extreme, uh, uh, it's the fucking word, arts, one of art students' favorite w o r d、um, Oh, fuck. I, it's like that extreme contrast, I guess,、uh, from the shoulder to the waist.、Um, you can see it on、uh, a couple different looks that has an exaggerated shoulder. And just kind of going off of that shoulder,、um, after I saw that the collection was, has some allegorical、uh, context to it, I just kind of looked at it and thought it's almost as if. An angel's wing was just ripped off, and then there's just like humps left behind.、Um, there are looks with a symmetrical shoulder,、um, exaggerated shoulder, but there are some, especially the last look of the collection.、Uh, it's the white dress with, with one shoulder just sticking out, and that just kind of has that very grotesque, ripped out wing look. And I don't know. In my head, it made sense,、um, you know, with the collection name Gis-、uh, Gethsemane being the place where Jesus was arrested just before his crucifixion. And that, you know, I interpreted that as the darkness of the humanity taking the light being the Jesus. I'm not a religious person, I'm not religious at all. I just like. Religious stories, just as like a myth or a fictional story.、Um, but yeah,、um, yeah, so I thought that was kind of like that darkness taking over the light. And you can also see that connection with the pandemic being the darkness and the humanities just slowly dying and our wings are being ripped off 
Um, so I thought that was like an interesting um, thought I had. I don't know if it makes sense, but hey, it's all subjective, right? Um, <laughs> another association I made, and this is just me being a Japanese background, a lot of these like exaggerated shoulders and I think it also has to do with the the colors like the greens and the purples Rick used. Um, it really reminds me of um, Evangelion. Um, I'm not like a otaku. I don't really watch anime. I just know it because Evangelion is just a classic one. Um, and it just kind of, you know, came into my mind where the, the I guess the mech of the Evangelion suit or whatever is, you know, it is based on the human body. I guess the technical term would be like a humanoid. Um, so it has like an exaggerated proportions of like each limbs and like the shoulders or different bits of the body. And you can see that really well in this collection too. Um, and like some of the, the pieces look almost like an armor. Honestly, I like this collection more than the men's one. Um, I find each piece has unique proposi proposition to the outfit and just like makes it look really interesting, really cool. And I don't know, maybe I'm just turning into a Rick Stan. Um, the only thing I thought was kind of a little odd and I guess this is the balance between the artistic expression of you know Rick being the fashion designer and then considering the practicality of these clothing uh, a lot of the dresses where it tapers quite aggressively towards the knee and then has like a frill or like a tapers out uh, to the ankle I saw the models walking and I couldn't help but notice that they were walking a little awkward and they were almost waddling and one of the shots had the back side of that dress and there's no um, slit and there's no vent to it and that's what usually makes uh, dresses and midi skirts more wearable is having those uh, vents where the fabric is basically just double layered but at, there's an actual opening it's not like a continuous piece of fabric and I think you know Rick being someone who creates clothing with like a very specific artistic uh, expression and direction um, some of them aren't as practical I guess and that is something I noticed uh, from the collection and, and the models models walking uh, along the, the pier. Uh, and I also like the location is really cool too. That's one thing I haven't mentioned. Um, it's near the one of the factories in Italy, Concordia factory. And I don't know, there's that almost like an eerie look to it it's just an empty beach a concrete pier with flashing lights and the smoke all the way at the end of the the pier um i think visually all kind of came together to create dark and eerie um feeling but at the same time has that glimpses of light you know using uh, different colors of fabric and I don't know it felt like it's not as dark in terms of the actual garments that Rick does um, I don't know I, I, in my head Rick just does almost all black clothes but um, I like the the mixes of colors and the pops of the whites he use uh, just kind of like gives you almost a hope in the world and um, kind of gives that not a happy ending but a prospect into a new world that is safe and 
you know, equal to everyone, I guess. I don't know. Maybe this is me being idealistic and going crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my rambling thoughts about Rick's collection. Um, this is one take. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I would really appreciate it. Only like five more people and I'm hitting 600. I just want to get 2000 by like June, you know? Um, so I would really appreciate it if you could share it too with your friends or show it to, I don't know, people you know. Um, post it on Instagram. Uh, yeah, share wherever you want to share. That would be much, much appreciated. Um, leave a comment what you thought about Rick's collection. Um, did you like it? What do you find it interesting? Or are you not into Rick at all? Uh, let me know how you feel about it. Uh, and also if you are knowledge in Rick Owens, um, please educate me. I would love to hear more about his work and you know the thought that goes behind it. Um, I'm really starting to appreciate his work uh, as I dive <laughs> deeper into the menswear gates of hell. And uh, also don't forget to go check out my Instagram, uh, just right here at the corner, N-A-O-Y-A-T-A-K. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.